Hello and welcome to my channel FCNG Close Computer and Gaming. Today we're reviewing a really really nice old game and also we have a gameplay with it. So be excited and have some fun here. Okay, let's get started here. First let's review the box and the contents of the box. That's very important. So we have the game today, Little Tender in 3D. Isn't this not beautiful? 1993. Very beautiful game, developed by Pie in the Sky Software and published later by Forkman. I think it's just awesome, really beautiful. So let's check the box out. We have a nice black and white game guide. I think it's pretty neat. Not too bad. We have catalog from Fogman software. Mostly like kind of like programs in here mostly. Maps, home design, travel planner, all stuff what you don't need today anymore. Because you have your cell phone. Smartphone. So all beautiful stuff here. Couple games in the back. And back to the programs. So then we have here a nice tattoo. Frogman tattoo. Look at that. Awesome, isn't it? It's a neat little gimmick. Love it. Then we have the software. We have the two. Five and a quarter floppy disks, and if it's three and a half floppy disk. Pretty cool. So a simple, nice box, that's for sure. Oopsie. There it is. Yep. So, yep, that's a neat, neat box. I love this box, this kind of style of box. But they also made a different kind of style box. The contents are basically the same, the box is a little bit different, but yeah, overall, same contents, different style of box. Okay, I would say, let's go to the gameplay. What do you think? Wanna have some fun? Wanna play the game? Let's do it. Okay, let's get started here with the game. There we go, Fogman, Little Tender. Talk about unstable currency. This money is really the root of all evil. There we go, now we know it. So basically we're starting out in the training room. So I can talk a little bit about the game. High in the Sierra Matra Mountains, criminal mastermind Thorn Devereaux has set up an underground manufacturing plant to produce an incredible explosive substance. Code name paid particle accelerated incendiary device. Only a protective coating keeps it from exploding on contact with air. This compound is so unstable that an amount the size of a silver dollar could reduce a city block to smoldering ashes in seconds. Yeah, sounds already exciting, huh? Doesn't it? So yeah, we are here in the training room. You can train a little bit with the weapons, with the grenades. Get some health packs and yeah, then later on a helicopter is waiting for us to bring us to our destination. So I think this is pretty exciting. So let's check out here the training room a little bit and go from there. Also to the game itself, I, th I think it's a pretty neat 1990-1993 style first person shooter game graphic is okay for this kind of time period I would say it's a nice 3D graphic might be could be a little bit better but overall sound is pretty good pretty neat the guns sound pretty good so I think overall for being that old of a game and an early first person shooter pretty cool really cool can't compare to Wolfenstein but 
Hey, if it was still a first person shooter, really nice game. So now we are on the rooftop on our mission at the destination. So let's go down. Let's see what we have to expect there. And let the action get started here. How about that? Starting out in a little office room here. So let's go through the first big room here and close some enemies here. The doors kind of remind me a little bit on Wolfenstein, like the opening sound and closing sound. So that's pretty neat to have that here. So, by the way, I'm playing this game on my Toshiba satellite 2590 CDT with Windows 98 on it. I play this in DOS mode. There's an Intel Celeron processor in this computer with 64 MB RAM. So it's pretty enough for this kind of game to play with. So it's just required a 386. So, but it plays really smoothly and nice. So, pretty cool, very cool. And you already see here, kind of boxes with hammer and sickle on it. It's like, really don't think you're here in the Sierra Matma mountains. Think, you think like with the hammer and sickle, you're somewhere in Russia. So, <laughs> kind of funny. I think it's pretty cool. It's this little stuff what makes a game. And here we have it. So, let's kill this little enemies up here in this area. And go to the next step here. Another nice thing also in this game is you can pick up some stuff if you, you have space in your inventory. So, you, see, you already see my inventory is pretty full right now. So I can't pick much more stuff up, but also you can use some stuff and that's really good. And what I really like on this kind of gameplay here right now, you have the map and you have the map right in front of you. You don't have to hit the key to open the map, to look where you are or what kind of area you're in. So I think that's really cool and I love it that the map is right there next to you. And yeah, I guess. Very cool. Love it. So let's get here to the next area and finish up here all the enemies. Yep, pretty fun. I think the gameplay is perfect. I love it, it runs smoothly. It's really nice. Oh wow, that's a bunch of enemies here. Uh, let's get them done. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Good. So, what's the nice thing is, you also can pick up uniforms from the dead. We can basically undress the dead people. I think that's pretty neat. And I will show you pretty soon how it looks like. But it is neat. So... And you see, I'm got already wounded. You see the red spots here on my body. So I'm taking a health pack right now. And my gosh, oh, I feel so much better now. This is awesome. Yep, so now we picked up a uniform here. You see this in my inventory. So awesome. Show you right now the body here. Like, let's check out the first behind this area here. Okay, clear. Perfect, good. Okie dokie, look at that here. Yep, there is the undressed person. Look at that. Look at that. So, we can basically undress the dead people and take the uniforms from them. They give us a little bit more protections if we use it. So, I think it's, it's a neat gimmick too to take that. And I think, cool. Okay, let's go play here a little bit more. We have also different kind of enemies here. You can also tell them by the different kind of uniforms they're wearing. So some of them only need one, two shots. Some of them need a couple more shots to kill them. But I think it's it's just a nice thing to have in the game. It's like basically similar to Wolfenstein. The different uniforms need more shots to kill this person. So 
I think it's it's pretty cool. I think it's very cool. So I would say let's go to the next area here and just look at that. All these enemies here, they're walking towards me. Holy moly. Yeah, come on. Yep, I think the machine gun is getting hot. Ho ho ho. That's pretty cool. So Yep, let's walk around here a little bit outside. So that's a neat neat thing too, but you actually don't have at Wolfenstein, so you have inside and outside areas and I think it's it's neat. It's it makes this game likable kind of, yeah. I think it's a really cool game. Okay, back to the gameplay here. Another neat thing is you see I got wounded again. You see the red dots there. So if you get wounded somewhere kind of where the like joints are or something, so you kind of walking a little bit funny. So you think you have something wrong with your keyboard. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> but it's like you walk like kind of in a circle or something. So this is a really neat thing. So if you get hit somewhere critical, so it's 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 just like in real life, so you're walking funny, so. <laughs> but also, a nice thing is, you can use the washroom to refill your health, so. It's like a little bit like in Blake Stone, if you remember this game. So, they're kind of like, kind of stations you can refill your health and some stuff, so. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Really, I really have to say, there's so much nice stuff to say about this game. That is, it is lovable, really it is. And I think it was never so really popular than Wolfenstein or Blake Stone, Duke Nukem, that for sure. But yeah, it's still a really, really great first person shooter, definitely. I would say if you have the possibility to pick up a copy of this game, do it. Really do it. It is a really nice game and it's lovable. So let's come here slowly to the end. I show you what happens when you die. So that's that's a that's pretty cool actually too. So I will blow myself up here with a couple of gasoline here. Okay, now I'm dead. Good. And here we go. There I'm laying in the coffin. And yep, the rest in peace. January eighth. 2022. <laughs> so, cause of death. Lethal explosion. <laughs> there we go. Funny, isn't it? I think that's great. I hope so much you enjoyed the review and the gameplay. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. You also can subscribe to my channel. And I would say, have fun again all the time and see you the next time.